Okay, this is the second structure, third unit. And the second structure is different than the first structure in that we have some siding. And of course, then the garages have been converted. Still have skylights. I've already been on the roof. Okay, the exterior faucets, front and back, neither one of them have vacuum breakers. And the faucet on the front is missing its handle. And it's 55 psi to this house. So the electric meter is inside the fence. The gas enters the south side of the structure. We're coming over here, we've got soffit vents, just like before. A lot of the similar stuff. This is where the gas enters this house. It's the main disconnect. Like the others, we do not have a rain diverter to keep water from hitting the condensing unit. The condensing unit is not exactly level there. Um, still no weep holes and still no control joints. All right. So we're coming on along here. This unit is a SEER 13. I finally got a SEER. The other ones I'll, I'll have to calculate. Number two unit, probably not so much. That's a three ton 13 SEER. It was manufactured in 2012. And it's R22, not 410. And we're missing a Schrader valve cap right there on that filter. And this line is not insulated. That low pressure line is not insulated. And we do not have. Um, Tamper proof Schrader valve caps on that. And where we're at on this being R22. Alright, Texas Real Estate Commission. It's on or it's off. It's performing the function for which it's intended or it's in need of repair. Or it does not. Um, or was it not installed properly? Or is it a safety issue? That being said, just about any technician that comes out here and services this R22 unit, they're going to encourage you to update the system. In fact, it might be even illegal for them to get into the refrigerant system at 2020 unless they're approved. Uh, we got dirty coils on this unit. All right. Uh, the disconnect, unlike structure one, units one and two, the disconnect is over to the side. That's the dead front to it. And it's wired in okay. Um, but this conduit, all right, this conduit's loose from the bottom of the, the box right there. So all these windows are in poor shape. They're all single pane. Um, it is what it is. We've got level grading and drainage all along this side of the wall. It's even negative. Negative drainage over here at the patio area. Uh, we do not have service ca uh, caps right there. We've got uh, high soil conditions for the wood right in here around the chimney. Okay, on this side, or I mean, at least there should be a screed. And there's a wood rod on the vertical trim board. We do not have kickouts um, around any of the four chimneys, two structures, four units, four chimneys, no kickouts. Um, let's see, the uh, uh, in use covers not present here. And the reason why, and um, no GFCI, the reason why I'm not calling out that these condensed units do not have service outlets is because there's always a service outlet by the back door where the dining room is or with the converted dining rooms in structure one but where the dining room is or um, but there, there's this receptacle outlet a, a technician could you know get it reasonably get some work some electricity over here to work on this system so that's a that's it for the backyard structure two unit three